I've previously imported a file named grades, and now I want to find out something about this file. So, first thing I can do is type names, which is a function, and then inside the parentheses I put the name of the object, in this case it's grades, and what it shows me is the column names. So my grades file has student ID, student name, homework average, and final grade as the column names. Well, let's say I want to see the first few records of this. <clears throat> then I can type, then I can type head, put in the object, and then how many rows do I want starting from the top of the file? Well, let's say I want two rows. So now it's showing me the first two rows along with the data. I could also type tail. And let's say I can do the last three rows if I wanted. The next way to look at my data is by understanding what the structure of it is. To find out the structure, you type str and then the object name. And then it shows me that this is a data frame. And it shows me that it has uh, four variables. And it shows me the <clears throat> the values of them, if there's a lot of values, it just puts an ellipsis at the end. And this is specifying what data type. These are integers and these are characters. So that's structure. You could also do what kind of class is this object grades? Well, it's a data frame. In another video, we'll talk about the different kinds of, of, of objects or ways to store data in R. Data frame is a very useful one. It's sort of like an Excel worksheet. It can have many different kinds of data within it, character or integer as you can see. I can also do type of and that tells me that this is a list. If all of the data were let's say numbers it might say double. In this case this is lists of different kinds of data. And of course if I wanted to see the whole file I can just type the object name. In this case, there's only five rows, but if you've got a million rows, then head and tail and, uh, and so on, these become very useful. There's one more way to look at the data I want to show you, which is summary. And then you put in your object name, and it will take each column. And if the column is an integer, for example, it will do the minimum, the, the first quartile, median, mean, third quartile, and max values. If it is a character or list of a list of character values, then it just shows you uh, how many there are. But the, this structure here is useful for integer type data in getting a sense of the variation and the the central tendency of that data. So now you have a number of ways to find out more about an object that holds your data.